Q&A. I get a lot of questions, so let's answer some. So I get a lot of the same common questions all the time. Look at that. Who's growing? I get a lot of the same common questions all the time. Um, one of the big ones is what mower do I prefer as far as decks go um, in discharge? And what do I recommend for a deck that discharges really well over others? Um, Here's my thing, it all depends on where you're at. It can make a heck of a difference up here in the Northeast. There is a lot of, in the spring and in the fall, you get fast, thick, growing grass. And, you know, I start mowing at like eight o'clock in the morning roughly, and up until, in the spring and the fall especially, up until 10, 30, 11 o'clock, sometimes noon, that grass is still wet or still damp. Do some mowers discharge better in that? Yeah, yeah they do. Um, but you're going to have issues no matter what mower you use. It's just the nature of the business. It's how it goes. I've run so many different mowers from standards to zero turns to walk behinds to you name it. I had a mower that had a full cab over at one point with a 72 inch deck out in front of it. Um, it doesn't matter. It's going to clump up to a certain degree and you're going to have problems no matter what you do. So you're going to have to do double cutting, yeah. You're going to have to depend on where you're at. You'll have to do some double cutting. You'll you'll have to bag lawns if that's something that you do. Uh, sometimes with lawns, I will just, if I know it's going to clump up like that, I know I'm going to have issues and it's really thick, I'll just bag them right from the get-go. Um, the amount of times I have to stop to dump those bags out isn't any more time than what it would take for me to double cut it anyway. So and especially if there's a lot of flower beds, things like that, I know I'm going to have to, um, I know I'm going to have to avoid that much grass blowing out of the deck. I'm going to have to avoid putting it in them flower beds, so sometimes I'll just bag it anyway. Um, but you will, which leads me to another part, a lot of people have asked me, well, what about packing inside the decks? There's a lot of different products out there you can use non-slip type products. I don't use any of them, um, so I can't really give you info on how well they work. I'm sure some people will comment here and uh, give opinions. Maybe they've used them, so if that's something you're looking into, look for that. Maybe somebody will comment on here or something that they use and they like, um, but as far as that goes, I can't really help you. If you're mowing thick, wet grass, you're going to get built up inside the deck. I don't care what you do, unless you use one of those products and one that really does work. I don't know. But on a normal basis, I don't care what kind of deck it is, you're going to get some build up inside there. Just how it goes. Um, so that's, uh, that's my opinion on that. And as far as mower decks go, it's just make sure you charge accordingly for it. Like I know that I know which ones in my lawns grow the thickest, the fastest. The ones that have sprinkler systems are the ones that fertilize. And, they, uh, and we get a lot of rain at certain times. I know they're going to grow out of control. So... I plan for that. I know it's going to be like that every year, and I charge them a little bit more. If they don't want to pay it, then then go find somebody else. Um, there's a lot of lawns out there. You can replace it. <clears throat> On that note, I've had a lot of... Now, just keep in mind, you guys know me. I don't tell anybody how to do anything. I just give my opinion of what I do. Um, I've had people ask me what my preference is over versus like Kohler, Briggs and Stratton, or Kawasaki. I'm a Kawasaki guy hands down. On that note, I have run equipment with Briggs and Stratton. I have run equipment with Kohler. Some of them were okay, and they're not horrible. It's just not my thing. I like Kawasaki. That's, that's the brand I like. It's the one I've had the most success with. That's what I tend to run um, preferably. Um, I actually had to block a guy yesterday because he asked me what my opinion was and I told him and he started an argument with me actually up and down about uh, well Kawasaki is made overseas, Kohler is made in the USA and 
on and on. Let's just face it, let's just be honest with ourselves. Okay, 90% of everything is made overseas. Just because this is made in the USA doesn't always mean it's made in the USA. Like Harley Davidson, and I know people will argue with me on this up and down. Do the research, look it up. 90% of the parts for Harley Davidson are made in a factory in Japan. They are assembled in the United States, so they put a Made in the USA sticker here. It hasn't always been like that for years and years and years. Harley was solely 100% made here, parts here, everything. It's not like that anymore. Um, but anyway, so this kid argued with me back and forth, and he just got really nasty with me. And I was just, he asked me for my opinion, I gave it to him, and he was just being a jerk. So, uh, so I had to block him and cut him out. Um, which I have no problem doing. You guys know me, my channel is about helping people and uh, just giving you my opinion when you ask for it, you know, and giving you my advice. You can do whatever you want with it, but he just got really nasty and there was no room for that on my channel, so he's gone. But anyway, uh, so those are two big things that I've been asked a lot lately. Um, if you guys have questions or you want my opinion on things, uh, anything that I can answer for you, I will. And uh, maybe I'll do another little set like this, but um, those are the two main ones I've been getting a lot. So that's my opinion on those, and uh, feel free to leave a comment below and give me your opinions. Like I said, if anybody uses any type of non-stick um, application inside their decks to keep from building up so much, uh, I may even try one if I find one that has a lot of good reviews and really works. I bought stuff last year called Plow Slick and it's very expensive. Um, and I bought it to put on my plow, which I never end up doing, but I've heard people say they use that in mower decks, so I may use that. I've heard of fluid film, things like that as well. Um, but leave your opinions down below or your experience, if you've had actual experience with some of these other products and uh, maybe that'll help someone else out. But don't forget to subscribe and please share. Um, I've had a lot of my videos being shared lately, which has been great. I've been getting a lot of new people um, popping up. And it seems that they're really helping people, which is my ultimate goal. So um, please do, and I'll see you on the next one.